You'll notice an extra road for abs down here at the bottom. It's because the screen is a bit bigger. There's an 1136 by 640 display. Let's hop into the camera app here. So one of the new features here is the panorama mode. You see it switch over to here. Just have to slow. So obviously not enough space to do one here, but you get the point. So Passbook is another iOS 6 feature. We noticed uh, Sheraton Starwood Hotels here and Delta as well. New since the original introduction. Quite a bit thinner and lighter. It is a little bit taller, but it's kind of amazing how much lighter this feels compared to the 4S. You'll notice the two-tone colors here, harkening back to the original iPhone. The new 8 megapixel camera with an LED flash. A familiar button layout here on the side, volume up and down, as well as the mute switch. Familiar home button here at the bottom. Everything else looks pretty familiar to those who use the 4S. You'll notice a smaller SIM card slot here. That's because this uses the nano SIM instead of the micro SIM on the 4S. Same grid down here. I'm going to put it up beside the 4S here just to give you a look at the size dimension difference. So you'll see just a little bit of a difference in height here. And it's quite a bit thinner. So that's a brief hands-on with the new iPhone 5. We'll hopefully be getting to spend a bit more time with it. But this uses the same 4.1-inch display that the iPhone 5 has, 1136 by 640 resolution. Uses the same panorama mode here in the camera. 6.1 millimeters thick, 88 grams. And you'll notice an aluminum back, really premium feel, a lot like the iPhone. It's like they're taking the iPod closer to the iPhone in terms of quality. A new iSight camera, 5 megapixels. Here at the bottom, this is a new, a new thing called the iPod Touch Loop. This lets you put a loop as you see on here. Basically, it's a camera strap. Obviously, Apple is trying to gun for the point and shoot market here, though no optical zoom uh, may be a bit disappointing iOS 6.0 here, Passbook, one of the key features as well. Basically feels like a, a new iPhone, iPhone 5, but a bit thinner, obviously without a cell radio whatsoever. They decided not to put a 4G module in here, even for data, so you're still stuck using Wi-Fi, even if you call on Siri. However, <laughs> what is good around here to eat? So this is Siri being demoed on the new iPod Touch. The Wi-Fi is a bit crowded in here, I'm not quite sure if it'll pick anything out. In the meanwhile, I'm going to give you a look at what this looks like beside, this is an iPhone 4S. You can see the thickness difference. Obviously we're dealing with the new dot connector, quite a bit smaller than the dot connector used on the new iPad and the iPhone 4S and prior. So we'll be putting this through its paces in the days to come. That's a nice uh, quick look. The new iPod Touch here at Apple's Fall Media.